on everybody? I'm the College J Dubs. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Okay, since last time, uh, I just, I grinded up a little bit, got new equipment that I showed, uh, that I showed you in, uh, last episode, and we're ready to go to the Actemto Mine, so let's do this. Uh, I didn't get Nera to level 11 because level 10 is basically where, it's where she starts to, like, really level up really slowly, so it's gonna have to do for now, but whatever. Well, let's go to this House of Prophecy first. Oh, one enemy that I didn't show you is the Vice Tur. Oh, the only really special thing he does is call for help. He's a pretty easy enemy. About 35 HP. Nothing special. Oh, it looks <laughs> casts around. I didn't know that. Okay, so this is Actumto, and whoa, looks pretty bad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Death's a pretty prevalent theme in this chapter, isn't it? Of course it's not safe. Look at that, you got Poison Marsh right there. And wait. Also, there is gunpowder left. Nice. The end, then we're gonna go to the mine and get all this stuff and whatever. Let's see what everyone else has to say here. Wow. Damn, foul gas. Yeah, you can save there if you want. Oh no, monsters. Like, we haven't been fighting monsters like since like the first chapter. Like, do these guys, like, travel at all? And, like, as soon as you step outside of a village, like, monsters attack you anyway. What's the difference? Anyway, okay. The enemies in this place are... ridiculously strong. I mean... Being at level 10 and 11... I want to say it's enough, but... For those who don't really play old school RPGs, I can't say that it's enough. These enemies are pretty difficult. Uh, the Mad Clown here, they can cast Fireball, I think multiple times, I'm not quite sure though. But they can use Fireball on you, that does about 15 damage to every member of the party. I guess they also tend to run away, but who knows. I mean, I don't know, like, if they run away all the time or whatever. That's the first time I've ever seen one run away. This chest we get, Mystic Acorns. They increase maximum MP. I'm gonna keep those for Chapter 5. Since hero, the uh, hero definitely needs more MP than anybody else. Okay, another new enemy is the Were Tiger. These, they are really strong. They have about 50 HP and they can do a good amount of damage. Yeah, right there, he just did 17 damage to Ori. Yeah, so you, you see, you can take a lot of damage really quickly from the enemies in here, so just be careful. Defend if you have to, let Orin do all the work, whatever. Prepare, prepare to heal. Devil 
prepare to heal yourself a lot. I may even cut out some of the uh, healing because it, that t it eats up time, a lot of it. So yeah, so uh, these are the uh, probably the more harmless enemies. Rogue whispers do absolutely nothing. You don't even have to worry about that. Vamp dogs, however. Yeah, so you just tried the critical horn and it didn't work. Vamp dogs can use sleep on you, but they go down pretty quickly too, about 30 HP. So. And. Yeah, just, just about all of these enemies are uh, weak to Fireball and Inferno. So if you have those, well, you should if you're like level 10 and 11 and use them. Mel Scorpion can attack twice. I think they can critical you too, but I'm not quite sure. Holy shit. Orange just almost got killed. Whoa. That's why I recommend getting Venom knives. Uh, Venom daggers for both your. for both Mera and Hera. Because. you can paralyze enemies, and you definitely need to do that. To stay alive, even. In that chest you get silver tarot cards. They have okay attack power, I guess. What you can do is you can use them as an item, and it produces random effects, like sometimes you can kill all the enemies in one shot, sometimes you'll get killed, uh, but more often than not you'll be you'll just gain like everyone will get like 30 HP, everyone will cover 30 HP. That's the most common effect I've seen from it. I don't really like using them. I suggest you sell them. I mean, keep them for Chapter 5 so you can get the money in Chapter 5, but... But whatever. Yeah, the encounter rate here also is... pretty bad, as you just witnessed. Oh, you might also encounter a... Looks like some kind of like a blaze lizard or something. And they're pretty harmless too. The only thing you can do is play fire, which does like 10 damage to everybody. But whatever. Okay, so I think. Wow. Talk about greedy. Holy shit. What's in the jar? What's in the treasure chest? No. The treasure chest has a gunpowder jar. Okay, so. That does it for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna use that thing and uh, make that council guy scream and reveal who the king of Kilion is. I have a feeling it's gonna be Balzac. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.